Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to uh, Princess Auto Sale Flyer, two week sale flyer. This one was, I got the, I get these in the mail too, as like a little booklet y catalog thing. And this one was like super thick. And I don't know what they put in it this month or why. Um, there must have been something going on. Doors open at 7 today on the 12th. Free giveaways, probably like a hat or something or a pair of gloves, or whatever. Free donuts, coffee, and hot dogs while supplies last. I didn't go down to this to the, today, but uh, anyway. So I got this thing in the mail, like I say, and holy smokes, it was it was huge. So I'm like, might be a good one to look through. But anyways, here we go. Mega Smasher, best deals of the season. $888 for a compressor. It's not too bad. They don't really give you specs, though, on here. You have to go see more info, I guess. Oh, here you go. 247 pounds. Horsepower 3.7. I'm more interested in the CFM, yeah. So 11, 11.5 CFM at uh, 90 psi. So that's not, that's not too bad. Good for a small shop, you know, hobby shop kind of thing. Uh, what do we got here? Low profile heater. Hmm, 1500 watt. Some nice little straps, toe straps. Little die grinder, night right angle die grinder. Oh, nice table too. Hmm. Whoops. Still good price, but not as cheap as that time I got it for two eighty eight. I kinda wonder if that was a misprint. Normally seven dollars, you know, like two eighty eight, they probably wouldn't be making much off of that. Three thirty three, you're yeah, probably still not making great money, but Alright, here's some ads and stuff. Ooh, that's kinda neat. Wet dry cutoff saw. Hmm, electric like a whatchamacallit saw, quick cut saw, but electric, fourteen inch. Nice. Jackhammer, compressor, no, uh, generator, sorry, with a on-off button. Hyundai. Mega Smasher, wow. Ooh, wow, that's even more money, I think, now. Oof. Wow, must be a good, pretty good unit, though. 4,000 PSA. See, the, the problem is, with this, if you're using it in a couple years, whatever, and then the burner thing screws up or something, you, you're not going to find parts for it. I mean, so all you're going to have is, like, a cold pressure washer again then. So, I mean, I'd really love to get one of these for, you know, washing the grimy stuff off the stuff, you know. But, eh, I don't know. Just It doesn't seem feasible to me to, to spend, like, we'll say five grand on that. And then you, <laughs> a couple of years you might have problems with it. You never know, right? So, a nice little pressure washer there and a pretty heavy-duty-looking cart. Pressure washer degreaser. couple are set. Pressure tank, free water. Hmm. Telescoping window squeegee. 37 liter galvanized steel garbage can. With it doesn't look very tall unless the picture's kind of shrunk a bit. 37 liters. Yeah, that wouldn't be too much. It'll be, what, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half gallons to you guys maybe in around there. It's not very much. Sweeping machines, shoveling machines, forking machines, <laughs> raking machines. Oh, man. Tarpon. Oh, tarps. Yep. And heaters. 50,000 BTU. That's a good size one. $700. That's not too bad. Ceiling fans. Good little water pumps and submersible pumps. Good for that. Whole house water filter. Rain fresh. $50. Ooh, that reminds me. I should probably change ours. Yeah. Heavy duty usage. Heavy duty. Oh, it's just heavy duty. Okay. <laughs> Carbon filter. Hmm. We actually get a lot of sludge coming into ours for some reason. I've got uh, one of these with like this one and then I got another one in line too with like another one of these but with uh, string they don't show it on here but it's got like a bunch of strings on it and I think it's down to one micron for that one so oh right there no not, no 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 that's another foamy one so that's what's in here so it's a foamy one but uh, high flow could be and eh, no that's not it and they work pretty good hey there you go Wow that's a lot. 
like a, for a little cart there to tote turds around for your RV waste holding tank. It only holds, uh, oh, not a whole lot probably. But oh, look at this now too. Of course, they have an actual fitting. So this you screw into your um, trailer, and then uh, put your airline on there and shh, blow your trailer out. I got to do that too soon. Never mind. Oh man. Oh, and they have vent lids now. Holy smokes. Forty dollars. Yeah, that's enough, isn't it? Probably should cover it one of those too, but you know. Does not make any sense to me. And this, yeah, durable UV stabilized, not UV protected. They'll last a year. Maybe. And then they just disintegrate. It's like, can't you guys make those out of something that's not going to do that? That's in the full sun all the time? And all the light, UV light all the time? No, apparently not. Which means I should probably check mine too. Because they're probably not any good, but... They're not super hard to change. It's more of a kind of a nuisance, but I almost just want to block the thing right off and seal it back up because we never really use these things anyways. So let's open the windows. And, well, this, these don't really seem to do anything. But anyways. So some RV plugs. I wonder why they're coming out right now with all this RV stuff when it's camping season's pretty much done. Hmm. All right. And we've got some trailer covers for $300. Well, that's pretty cheap. Probably pretty cheap, too. I wonder how hard it would be to sling that over something. Huh, that might be interesting. ATV covers. Ooh, look at this stove. There you go. Ooh, nice little grill, too. $160, two-burner tabletop gas griddle. That'd be good for, like, pancakes and stuff like that. Camping. Some air rifles and everything. Wow. Cases, nice. Paddles. Meat slicers? Yeah, they should be getting into the uh, meat processing stuff here soon, too, I would guess. Yeah, here we go. Cutting boards, curing salts, flavor stuff for sausages. That's usually the time of year people are sausaging, sausaging things, right? Some binsters, some of these uh, hard plastic storage cases. Very nice. Drywall screws, even. Man, they're getting everything. Oh, this is a surplus, that's why. Squeegees. Horses, TV mounts, memory cards. What did I just say? Memory cards. What did I just say? Memory, memory, memory. No memory. Ha. Locks prevents accidental data, data erasure. Don't put it on a magnet, though. <laughs> There's a power block. It's got all different plugs in it, I guess. And cables. Lightning cables. Ooh, wow, wow. Oh, 18 inch by two. Okay, that looks a lot bigger than that. 18 inch by two feet for eight, under eight dollars. That's really cheap. Wow. Yeah. Four inch fog light. That's pretty cheap too, wow. Brake lights, turn lights. Wool pants, really? Huh. Look at this little guy here. Briggs and Scrap Iron, it looks like a sticker from. Briggs and Scrap Iron, yeah, it looks like it. Hmm. Multi cutter attachment for screwdriver. Multi cutter attachment for screwdriver. I don't understand that. Ammo boxes, it's pretty cheap too. Probably never been used. Cut off wheels. 50 pack of half inch steel balls. 10, 10 pack of one inch magnetic balls. Great for hobbies and collecting screws. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Aww, look at this little guy. He's so cute. Power mate. Hmm. 1200 watt inverter generator. It's not bad. You run like a small toaster maybe or something off of that. A few lights. Probably fairly quiet too. Quiet design, low oil shutdown. I, was, I looked at that quick and I thought, low oil consumption. Well, I'd hope so, but anyways. There's a cutter, circular magnets, ground clamps. Ooh, N95 mask. Yeah, I better stock up on them again because, like, you know, kids are back to school now and they're going to be all coming home sick again. Where it comes from, I have no idea. I think they release it in the vents in the school. Everybody gets sick. 
Non-contact forehead infrared thermometer. Oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> oh boy. Leaf blower. That's kind of a cool light. Plastic rechargeable LED magnet light. Hmm. Solar digital wind thermometer. Aluminum roll-up campsite table. Very nice. 20 foot dog tie out cable, a bunch of gloves, a bunch of bike accessories. Hey, nice. 15 amp DC motor speed controller. Control speeds a motor without sacrificing torque. Okay, don't know what they'd use that for, but nice bicycle pump. Nice, some fans and some more lights. Wow, this is quite a flyer this time. Might be the biggest flyer we've ever done. I think it's like 103 pages. We're only on page 28. Like, holy smokes, there's all your air, some air tools anyways. Not all of them. I'm sure there's more here somewhere. Twist pug for like a boat or something, I guess. That's kind of cool. Mini heat gun. Ha! Huh. Some nice rope, nylon, and oh, this stuff's horrible when it gets uh, kind of sun rotted and stuff. Ooh, 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 little little needles, that's for sure. Dollar seventy four though for fifty foot of quarter inch. Wow, that's cheap. That's like really cheap. Let's say a normal price regularly three forty nine. Even that's cheap. <laughs> Some more lighting things. Oh, there's a fishing box maybe. Yeah, tackle box, backpack, nice. Ice fishing again, oh boy. Huh, pool mattress, interesting. Dirt bike helmets and everything, holy smokes, they're gonna have to get a bigger store here soon. Well, that's kinda cool. 6,000 pound hydraulic mid-rise scissor vehicle, which I guess you slide it under it and then get these all positioned under, oh yeah. And then up she goes, eh, might be all right. Battery charger, some paint, grease, and man, there's stuff just all over here. Fluid film, black fluid film, interesting. Probably about the same thing, but who knows. More vehicle lifts, vehicle spinners, the rotisserie. Auto body cart, very nice. Oh, there's a bunch of those um, push pin thingies, whatever you want to call them. Wow, this is crazy. Tire changer with bead breaker. Nice. There's a bunch of your bondos and stuff. All kinds of good stuff. Fiberglass stuff. Fiberglass matting stuff. Nice. Auto body. They must be uh, thinking that people are going to be doing lots of crashing. So there's your cleaning stuff too. Hot shine. Hot shine. Gold class, shiny stuff. Probably should do mine. Oh, plastic restore. Okay. Yeah, probably should give mine a polish for when it comes in here, but. Wow, they even have spray foam kits. Holy smokes. Still pretty expensive, though. $479. Only the smaller ones, too. You wouldn't do a whole lot with that. Fast orange wipes. <clears throat> Some scaffolding ladders. Foamy mats. We're only at page 43. Holy smokes. More lights, more lights, more lights. Lots of lights this time around. And filter, face filter things. Large range rider driver gloves. Oh, that's quite the name. This Bernie stuff is all over the place now, too. It's kind of taken over from like the Carhartt kind of stuff around here, anyways. Earplugs. Wow, cabinets even. Holy smoke. Some of this stuff, some of it's got to be special order. Because I've seen, like, in the back warehousey things where they keep stuff like this. There's not really a lot of room. So they're even they're either going to have, like, packed in there with different stuff. Or they're going to have to do order stuff when you want it. So that's a nice workbench, actually. Not too bad. 
Knock down storage crate. Moving blankets. Moving stuff. Chain hoists. There's one of those uh, plate clamps again. They're pretty good. Pegboards. Pegboard accessories. Vacuum cleaners. Wow, even a heavy-duty utility sink with pull-out faucet. Holy smokes. What don't they have? Basically, they don't have groceries here now. Yet. Huh. That'd be the next thing. Princess Auto Grocery Store. This doesn't sound right, does it? No. Cotter Pin Kit. Premium Food Grade Diatomaceous Earth. Wow. Like, what don't they have? There's all your chicken stuff. Quite a bit of animal stuff. Wow, they just... Tons of stuff in this flyer. I can't believe this. Like, I picked a flyer up when I got it in the mail. I'm like, holy, is this a catalog or is this a flyer? I'm wondering what the heck's going on here. Bunch of casters. Some more rope and stuff. Master locks. Bunch of tape. Painting tape. <clears throat> Yellow construction screws. That's pretty good for a thousand of them. Oh, some of those wedge anchors. Concrete anchors. 115 volt AC complete weatherproof outlet box. Tractable extension cord reel. Look at the price of these things. $1,800. Wow, that's a big pump, mind you. That will move a lot of fuel, but holy smokes. And I don't... Oh, let's see here. D dispenses gasoline, diesel, kerosene, and methanol and ethanol blends up to 15%. Biodies, blah, 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 blah. Includes 18-foot hose, but probably not this guy, I bet. Bet ya. Bet ya it doesn't come with the nozzle. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Item name, transfer, pump with automatic nozzle. Okay, it does. Good, good, good. When I, uh, when I bought mine, the 12-volt, I had to supply the hose and the gun. And it was pretty expensive then, too. Barrel pumps. Oh, these are good. Yeah, we showed you these last time, too. They're pretty, pretty nice binder load binder stuff oh wow they got landscape rake even category one landscape rake how uh, wide is it wouldn't mind one of these 220 pounds it's pretty heavy working with 60 inch that's not bad that's pretty decent actually yeah there's the dangerous ones eh, I don't really like them Post hole loggers. I got one of these guys here. Of course, you guys have seen it. The Land Pride one. It's like the orange color. Been used like twice. That's about it. But, you know, it works good. This would be pretty handy too. Quick hitch thing for the three-point hitch. But, you yeah, know. Log splitters. Log splitters. Yeah, that'll be big now too. Everybody's doing wood for winter. Keep warm all winter. Pole saws and chain saws. Mower blades, spindles even. Holy cow, that's kind of specific, isn't it? You'd have to really know uh, which one you need. That's for your under your mower where your blade goes on. This blade goes on here. One of these on here, you know. Wow. Bench grinders. I haven't seen their sawmill stuff in here for a while. V-belts, oil change and kits and stuff. I think this is the whole catalog. <laughs> Hydraulic oil. Ooh, nice Honda. Wow. I'd like to get that for my sawmill. Don't know if it would fit, though, but... I know the uh, Woodland Mills just came out with a new 136, so it'll do up to a 36-inch log, which isn't really a whole lot bigger than what I already got, but um, it uh, has this engine on it here, so I haven't seen a price for this new Millia, but I'm, I'm not changing mine. Mine works good for... I ain't got trees that big. You know, that's, that's huge. Horizontal shaft gas engine. Coal pin. Little generators. Or, sorry, welders, my bad. Welders, plasma cutters. Very nice. Welding helmets. There's the welding blankets. So you keep warm when you're welding. You know, you wrap this around you. Keep warm. That's what they're for. No, I'm just kidding. You hang it up. <laughs> or put it on the floor or something. And then it just catches out on fire, not your floor. Hopefully. Yeah. Some more brushes and stuff, soldering guns, butane, little torches, that's all right. It's expensive enough, though, for that. Ronson stuff's pretty good, though, usually. That's a neat little one, too, like a micro-torch. Hmm. 
butane lighter. Bench grinder pedestal stand. Holy smokes. That's probably for this guy here. Sanding things. Drill presses. Some brakes. Drill press vices. Regular vices. Oh, here comes some air stuff. Mega Smasher. That's maybe what all this is. It's the Mega Smasher stuff. Oh, and there's one there. It's got a little valve on it. Sorry, too. I just kind of made my own. Works pretty good. Pop-up spray paint shelter. Painting stuff. Cone strainers. Little mixing cups. Whoa, there's the big gas-powered feller. Ooh. How much does this put up? Holy smokes, eh? Oh, it doesn't really have specs on it. Probably lots. <laughs> and there's another nice one. Little little tank. Industrial air. Some air tools. Air tanks and the dual tank gravity feed abrasive blaster. Nice. There's the little valves like I got on my compressor. Or the switches for turning it on and off, sorry. Oh, they got this stuff on sale. I remember this stuff coming on sale. It was $25 on sale. <laughs> it's kind of gone up a lot more. I think it was $34, $35 regular price. Oh, man, it's gone up a bit. That's what you put in the air dryer system. Sandblast and stuff. Big roll of probably pretty crappy plasticky hose in the wintertime. It would suck. This PVC air hose is not very good. Rated for minus 40. Yeah, right. I doubt it. Right for maybe, maybe freezing the most. <laughs> it wouldn't probably break, but it would just be like a long, stiff noodle. <laughs> there chucks, fittings. Oh, look at this long reach feller. More air tool stuff. That's all right. There's the torque wrench or the torque limiting bars. Very nice. Metric deep impact socket set. Some other tools, electric tools and stuff. I don't really need anything like that myself. There's a nice little for your saw. That's all right. Yeah. Some drill bits. Little drill bits for your SDS. SDS, we used to call them SDS Max, but I guess it's SDS Plus now. Same thing, I would think. So that's kind of cool. Some reciprocating saw blades. Never tried one of these yet. I think that would be kind of neat to try. Mini flapper wheels. Well, that's a neat little set. Specialty bit socket set. All kinds of neat stuff in there. Hmm. Wow. Some little flat head extendable ratchets. Quarter inch drive ratchet. Magnetic toolbar. Some more magnets. Magnets on a stick. Ooh, level set. Square set. Two and one stainless steel ruler. Digital angle ruler. Hey, that would be kind of cool to get. Hmm. Don't think about that. These are cool too, those gauges. Contour gauges. And ratcheting wire terminal crimper. I got one of those too, actually. It's not exactly that one, but it works pretty good. I got mine at Home Depot. Same sort of thing. Nice magnetic trays and drywall lifter. Adjustable bar clamp spreaders. Stainless steel pry bar scraper set. Hammer time. Chisel time. Ooh, hole punch time too. Nice. That's pretty cheap. Pex crimper. Rapid pull saw. Flaring and swaging toolkit. Nice. Some sort of vice grip kind of things. There's a vice grip there, vice grip there, vice grip there, and then fake vice grip. That's pretty bad when three of them of the cheapy ones are cheaper than one of these ones. Oh, well. Paying for a name, I think, sometimes. Oh, these are... Uh, I got some of these are actually pretty good. 15 foot. Yeah, they're the nice ones. 
Ratchet straps, ratchet straps. That's neat how that kind of sucks it all into the thing. It's a little bit different. Very nice. Oh, nice loading ramp. And another loading ramp. ATV not included. Oh, that's a neat little truck crane. 500 pounds, 600 pounds, 700 pounds, 1,000 pounds. Nice. So that means if you put this guy out to here, so this thing will be out to about here, you can only do 700. And then further out, you know, six, five, so out here would be about 500 pounds. That's not too bad. Some winches. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gas power rope winch. 3,500 pound, 12 volt DC steel cable winch. Powerful one, one third horsepower motor can switch control. Planetary gearbox includes 42 foot of cable. Wow, nice. Even got vehicle mats, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Ford F-150, Rams, Wrangler, Sierras, Toyota Tacomas. Some seats even. The back rack thing so you don't smash your window all up. Car covers, horns, big horn. Some storage boxes. Oh, there's all your brake controllers. Wow, this has been a fantastic flyer. I don't know why this one's so crazy, but... They do have a 90th birthday this year, so it could be something to do with that. That's it there, 90th. Some lights. Adjustable trailer balls. There's a tire changer for you. I, mean, I want to make sure you mount that to the floor real good. Gigantic axle. Nice. Trailer brakes are kind of like that. You can just, you know, unbolt it off your trailer and bolt this one back on. Hook the wires back up. Drive on. I'm changing all these stupid springs and all these stupid nails and springs that are probably all rotted out anyways. And the little magnet thing here too, you have to, you know, switch that too. So I don't know if it would come with like the drum too. You kind of need that too. Some wheelbarrow tires, a little tool cart tires, some jocks or some tires, some bigger tires, tire racks. Not too bad. A bunch of wire. A little jack there. Another jack for your trailer. And I guess that's about it. There we go. So, yeah, this is, I believe, for their 90th. Oh, that's the catalog. That's price wrecker. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not too bad of a sale. No, that's not the right one either. Um, national sale. There we go. So, pretty good flyer. My goodness, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in that. <laughs> that was a good flyer. I didn't really, didn't really see anything I needed, so I don't think I'll be going for anything else. But, uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. That's your September 12th to the 24th, 2023. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Princess Auto sale flyer. Good job, Princess Auto. That was a really good flyer. That was, that was almost... Almost too much, honestly. But, uh, yeah, good flyer. But uh, free stuff was today. I didn't, of course, make it down to that. I was busy doing other things. So, But, anyways, thanks again. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good one. Hope you enjoyed that.